Hi everybody, other than the wage itself, what other factors can affect the demand for labour? So, other than the wage, anything else that affects demand for labour will shift the labour demand curve, either left or right. Just think, PDPC. PDPC are all the shifters of the labour demand curve. And in your head you're thinking, right, if I can bring this back to MRP and explain how these factors can either increase MRP or decrease MRP, then I can show the examiner or show the reader that I understand why the labour demand curve will shift left or right. Let's take the first uh, shifter, so PDPC, what's the first P? Well, a change in the final price of the product that labour is making. So whatever that labour is making, whatever that worker is actually making, if the price of that product changes, that's going to affect MRP, isn't it? Right. So remember, MRP is marginal physical product, or just marginal product, times marginal revenue. So if the price of the final product changes, marginal revenue will change as well. So let's take an increase, Cetris Paribus, the price of that product goes up, then MRP of that worker is going to increase, the demand curve will shift to the right. Of course, with lots of assumptions there, but that's just one simple example. The D stands for demand of the final product. If demand for the final product increases, demand for labor to make it will also increase. Labor is a derived demand, so that one's quite simple. The second P, is a change in productivity. A change in labour productivity affects the marginal product of labour, okay, and marginal product increases, and therefore it affects the marginal revenue product. Okay, so an increase in labour productivity will increase MRP and thus shift the demand curve to the right. And the C is a change in the price of capital. We know that in the long run all factors of production are variable. So in the long run a firm has got a big decision to make, whether to hire more workers or whether to hire more capital. The two are substitutable. So if the price of capital goes down, then maybe the demand for labour will decrease. Think of it in terms of the price of a substitute here, the price of capital. So if the price of capital goes down, it's much cheaper for firms to use machinery as long as that capital machinery is substitutable for labour. Therefore, the demand for labour will shift to the left. Whereas if the price of capital increases, then again the price of a substitute has gone up, demand for labour is going to shift to the right as firms look to hire more workers than more expensive capital. All right, and the effects you can see on a diagram here. We're in the labour market, so we have wage or output is fine. On the y-axis, we have quantity of workers on the x-axis. And you can see here that the demand curve, basically the MRP curve, will shift to the right or to the left if these shifters take place and we have an effect on quantity of workers irrespective of the wage. So these are non-wage shifters of the demand curve for labour. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you all in the next video.